Okay, so it's taken me ages to start this video. Also, to explain the hand, my thumb still aches. So I'm hoping it will do stuff. Wishful thinking. Anyway, one of the things about the book world is that everyone seems to love the whole finishing series that I'm in the middle of. Well, how about I start anticipated series that people like go on about? Um, so I have three books in this video. Honestly, you would have heard them all. First one is Flawless by Elsie Silver. I started it very briefly last night. I read first two chapters, so I read 26 pages. I'm liking it so far, I can't really comment too much. Um, then the other two books are Fourth Wing. I'm sorry if you've not heard. Anyway, this is cowboy romance. Um, just it follows Summer and Rhett. Is it? Yeah, I think it's Rhett. Yeah. So it's Summer and Rhett. Um, he's a cowboy, and basically she has to babysit him, and obviously they're gonna fall in love. Um. Fourth Wing to do with dragons, and it says 20 year old Violet was supposed to enter the scribe quadrant, living under quiet life among books, among books in history. Her, the general who is her mother, wants her to join their candidates for dragon riders, but she's smaller and your body and say the body is brittle and death is only a heartbeat away. Because they don't bond to fragile humans, um, with fewer dragons willing to bond, um, they would those um cadets would kill Violet for a better chance, um, and the rest would just kill her for whose daughter she is, um, and she will need to be kind of cunning and obviously war is building. So many mixed reviews. I'm just excited to get to that. I haven't started it yet, and the final one is Magnolia Parks by T by um Tessa by Jessa Hastings sorry um and it just says she's a beautiful self-involved madly neurotic London socialite he is Britain's most photographed boy who broke her heart but, but Magnolia and Parks but Magnolia Parks and BJ Valentine are meant to be aren't they and I am just so excited oh my god it's got some of the it's got some of the stuff I liked about red, white and royal blue because it has the like text stuff. Absolutely beautiful colour. I cannot wait to read this. Um, but yeah, it says she's beautiful, affluent, self-involved and madly neurotic. He's um, She dates other people to keep him at bay. He sleeps with other girls to get back at her for it. But at the end of the every sad endeavour, they get over another and it's still... And they crawl back to each other. But now the dysfunction is catching up. Pulling and fraying their world. As the cracks show and secrets surface. They're forced to face the question they've been avoiding all their lives. How many loves do you really get in a lifetime? I just, I love this cover. And I'm so excited. I've heard so much. I've heard so many good stuff. It's like half floppy. It's not. But also like the pages feel floppy. I don't know. Anyway. I thought I'd give you an update. I thought I'd start this video so that it means I can actually get to reading these. I just needed to film an intro. I just needed to film an intro so I can probably get into reading them. Um, but I will keep you updated, hopefully. But I'm working a lot this week, so it might take some time. Okay, so it's now Wednesday. Last time I spoke to you, I had read 23 pages of Flawless. Well, um, I've now finished it. So, obviously, Sunday I'd read 23 pages, and up until this morning, I had, basically up until I'd finished work actually, I had read 84 pages, um, so yeah, I got back from work, and I just, I got, I started to feel tired, and then I thought, you know what, let's pick up book and so I picked up this one um and yeah I I loved this I've rated it at five stars on Goodreads I'm still undecided as to whether it's closer to a 4.5 but also then at the same time it's like I was loving this and I just mm, I ate it up like I just I read the hell out of it 
I feel like five stars probably does sound good. If I was to settle on anything, it would probably be like a 4.75. Like there's just, I think there's just a smidge where it's just a little bit, a little bit like stagnant, a little bit slow. But I still read it really quickly. I read at the same pace as I usually would, but the, it was so easy to read and like get engrossed in it um which is what i love so i'm glad this is an anticipated read because um i loved it and i do have the second third and fourth book in the series the only person whose story i don't have is Bose, just because it wasn't in the works so once it comes out in the works i'll probably get it um but i'll wait till closer towards the time that i've read probably the third book maybe um but yeah such a good book i do recommend and in my opinion it's worth the hype but also i've probably just got similar tastes to the people who are hyping it up like do you get what i mean and i never thought i'd be into the like the cowboy romance because i will admit when you think cowboy you do think wild western films that were filmed in the like 60s you know what I mean, um, I'm glad that I read this and that's one book down, I, because it's late, I'm not going to read any more, I'd actually fin stopped finishing, I'd actually stopped reading this at like 10, yeah it was at like 10, um, but I'm not reading any more tonight because it's like half 11, I don't know whether I'll pick up, I might pick up either Fourth Wing or um, Magnolia Parks, or I could pick up another book that I've got in my TBR for the month. Or I could continue. Yeah, no. I'm only filming the books that I mentioned, but yeah, I really enjoyed. Highly recommend. Okay, so I figured that you guys deserved an update. Also, I got a new cardigan. It was too cute. Um, I literally saw it the first time in Asda and was like, mm, no, I don't need it. Walked away. Went to Asda again and I was like, but I do really like it, despite the fact that it does not have pockets. Um, so a little update. I've read 69 pages of Fourth Wing. Um, it's alright. Obviously, we're not getting to the good stage. I think it works out at something like 13% of the way through the book. Um, yeah, it's alright so far. Obviously, states are going to increase um as people become more competitive for a dragon um and the chance to get to the even having a chance to be picked by a dragon stage i actually haven't picked this up in a couple of days yesterday i was just relaxing also i did i was trying to complete an audiobook just because it was being returned to the library automatically like tomorrow but i think in my heart I just, I need to pick up Magnolia Parks. I need to at least start it. I just, I need to at least start it. I'm not necessarily putting off Fourth Wing because when I started Fourth Wing, it was because I had just finished like a romance. And so I was like, this has like romance elements in it and I don't want to go into two different like romances. <laughs> However, I've had my little fantasy fix I've obviously then gone away and read a, a memoir and listened to a memoir and even though there was like romance elements in it, it was the smallest like point in the audiobook. I really want to read this book so that's what I'm going to do. And also it's good to do like a mood read thing to not necessarily stick yourself to one book. Like you get what I mean. Like don't Kind of tie yourself to one book because that's obviously how you get in a book slump and that is what none of us need at in january maybe february but january we need to keep out of this book slump i'm gonna start this and i will keep you updated as to how far into this book i am okay so i want to give you guys an update i finished magnolia parks i I enjoyed this. I erased it at four stars. It at times it was just like slightly like lacking um in like 
interest and it was just like quite slow i think also because technically it's repetitive technically that's the whole point of it though because it's the whole like will they won't they and i do and i love like when things are good between bj and magnolia or bj and parks sorry the bj does annoy me at times because of he just He's reactive, not at her, at other people when they say something about her. He was a bit of a dick at the end though, but she's also being a bit of a bitch. So yeah, I enjoyed it. I know I'm like, I seem to like downplay it. I'm just, I'm tired. Um, I actually finished this yesterday. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait. I want to pick up the next in like the series. Um, I think I'll wait a bit because I've got way too many books on my TBR. Way too many. Um, so I need to read a lot more. Um, I've... Yeah, so that's two out of three down. I've not read any more of Fourth Wing, um, just again because I finished that yesterday. Um, but yeah, so two down one more to finish okay so updates on fourth wing i have now read what page number would this be i've now read 206 pages so that is i think there was literally like 500 pages um so i'm like 40 percent of the way through the book i love how that took me a moment to calculate granted i have just come off a night shift so you know you can kind of forgive me for my mind being a little bit slower also it's like 12 so i came off my night shift at like 8 it's now 12 so you know and i've been awake since like 3 p.m yesterday oh i think it was close to 4 so that's besides the point um i'm enjoying this so far it's captivating me is it the absolute best fantasy no currently it's giving me like it'll probably be like four stars because the thing is, is although the plot line is simple is it simple yes but the way it's all melded together is quite, it's both unique and not unique at the same time. It's like anyone in some ways could have written this, but the way it's gone about it is really good. Yeah, and I'm just, I'm captivated by it when I am reading it. I don't know what more else I can say about it, apart from the fact that I am excited to continue reading this book. I can definitely see why people are enjoying this. This is actually the first book I've read with dragons in a long, long time. Just because quite literally the last, I think the last dragon book I know that I definitely read was Aragorn. Um, I've probably, re I'll have read a book with dragons in since. I just, you know when you can't think of one? Um, but yeah, I like how it's written. I like how the, th I like how there's, world building but not too much like there's enough for you to be able to picture it but without going into too much detail which i actually think is quite good because it kind of allows you to imagine what this like the scenery is especially with like the veil is it the veil like the forest area also actually that reminded me the whole ending of the threshing i guessed it when we had that lesson about the dragons, which I don't think that's a spoiler. Surely having a lesson, saying there's a lesson about the dragons. And you learn that there's a thing called threshing very early on. And I'm not even saying what threshing is. But is it threshing? Yeah. I guessed it. Obviously, this Rebecca Yaros put the slight spin on it. But I guessed it. Am I mad that I guessed it? No. But I guessed it. We all knew that was coming. We all knew that was coming. But I'm not mad that it was an easy thing to guess. Because it was like, it was sweet. Based off of what we learned in that, le in that lesson about the different dragons. Honestly, it's really sweet that that is how threshing ended but yeah i'm enjoying it so far again 40 percent of the way through the book 
I'm just kind of in between a couple of books at this point um which is why it's taking me that little bit longer it's currently the 28th just for reference so I do I'm definitely going to finish this by the end of January but yeah I just wanted to give an update because I know that I haven't given one in a while yeah I mentioned about Magnolia Parks didn't I yeah um so I have finished full three um I rated it a four and a half stars first third took a it was a bit slow after that when stuff started to happen loved it like I'm sorry but with Violet's dragon and how she teased him on the mountain like I literally giggled like I I proper giggled um and then her, her interactions with Zayden oh again I giggled like I didn't expect that man to grow me as much as he did. And then the ending. Obviously that raises the question based off of what we've been told. And also about her dragon's previous rider. And anyone who's read the book will understand me. But yeah, I just, in the end, I loved it. Is it the greatest world building? No. But actually in some ways I kind of prefer that kind of world building um because sometimes the lesser descriptions make for a more enjoyable read for me because then that way I can kind of build the environment myself rather than having it all laid out for me and I think that kind of aids to the reader experience sometimes I know that some people like to have it all jotted out to like the very specific details but sometimes a lack of details or a very small description makes for a better reading experience. Like, is it the most complicated plot? No. Is it, like, could anyone write it? Yes. But I loved it. I own too many books, so I really should not get Iron Flame. I think I'll get Iron Flame in, the, in March, like mid-March time, like I might order it. I've heard that the second one it people feel like it reverses where they go back to being enemies again and it's kind of like based off the ending it makes sense obviously that's the final book of this starting series that i want to be in the middle of let me know what you thought of these three books have you read them i just love how i gave very limited updates for the other two um and I know that because I've edited it up to literally this part. Um, I could understand why people don't like it. It goes back to the simple like dragons and like riders. Because in Aragorn, the riders can communicate with the dragons. Granted, I think these dragons can also communicate with other humans anyway. But it's like that whole premise of like in Aragorn, the dragon chooses the rider. And it's the same with the fourth wing. Granted... In Aragon, the dragon egg only hatches when it finds its rider, um, so it's a whole different thing. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you've read any of these books, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm hoping to make this like a little series of like starting books. You get what I mean. Um, but yeah, bye guys.